Hi, today we're going to be looking at how you can improve your vocal sound using the Word Builder and East West plugin. Hi, my name is Ewan and welcome to Ewan Smith Music and welcome to another video. So I hope you have been enjoying the content over lockdown and of course I hope you've been enjoying some of the unique videos that I've been putting up. If not, and if this is your first time here, then please hit subscribe and the bell notification so that you don't miss a beat and any videos in future. So East West Studios have been providing Composer Cloud music and they have some really good abilities to be able to enter your own text, to be able to sing phrases in their vocal patches. And I'm going to be looking at today how you can use their word builder feature in those vocal patches to be able to craft really realistic sounds so let's go and over have a look and you'll see then we've got the Hollywood choirs environment and you've got the the gentlemen's the men sounds in here now if you click over on the top left hand side you'll see a word builder now word builder allows you to carve different phrases and at the moment the phrase that we're going to be using is called a new beginning so you can see that you've got phrases for each of those different words here as well. So if I was to play on the keyboard, this is what it would sound like. We're going to try and improve some of these because you can hear it sounds like a no beginning and we want it to sound more like a new beginning. So what we're going to do is we'll go down to the bottom of the window and you can see there are different zoom options on the bottom right hand side. You can use this slider here to increase the depth of each of those sounds and you can use the slider at the bottom to stretch or to shrink down so you can see all the different sounds. If I was to then cycle through each of these with the words at the top, you'll be able to see that when I cycle through the words, Word, a new beginning. Have a listen again. Sounds fairly self-explanatory. You can put in not just one set of words, but you can put in lines of lyrics. So you could change the length of these. So you can see on the word P, you can see the P, the E, and the E down the left hand side. So if you wanted to say, I want to have less strength on the P and more on the E, so I could then stretch that out. So I can go. Okay, and we go to those. You can see that as you can, I've selected those, and you can see that the words, the letters for those are down the left hand side here. So you've got T H O S E. You've got controls for volume. So if you wanted to reduce the plosives, so there's quite a strong emphasis on the T at the beginning. So I'm going to reduce to let's see if that improves it. You have got stock phrases and you've also got phonetics and you've also got Votox. You can type in any English phrase and you can then edit it. That's one way of doing it. You can also go to the stock phrases as well. So over on tools on the right hand side, you have got phrases and you have got different language of phrases, Spanish, English, Latin, German, Italian and a backup singer. So if you were to go into Spanish phrases, you can choose some of these as you can see here. Uh, you've also got English phrases. There are a lot of those over here. Latin phrases, German phrases phrases, Italian phrases, and you've got some which are from the backup singers. That's greyed out at the moment. It's because you have to access those through the backup singers plugin. So let's go into English phrases. Let's have a look at misery and hungriness. The combination of editing via the text editor above, but also editing down below in the time editor area as well, each of the different sounds of those words, and then using any edited phrases from the right hand side over here. Undo and redo. So if you think, oh, I didn't like what I just did, just click undo, and then you can then redo if you think you want to try that as well. You can then edit the different letters, the different sounds in here as well. This tends to be quite advanced. I don't tend to touch this too much, but again, it's another option for you. Syllables, you can edit the syllables if you wanted to, to sound more like the dialect that you're used to hearing or singing. And then lastly, you can then double check to see whether, of course, it sounds fairly good. So it's really all depending on your ear, what you think is suitable for your ear. You can tweak these sounds, you can go into as much detail as you possibly can. If you don't want to get too bogged down, keep it simple. Just try different typing examples using the time editor below to edit and stretch out different syllables, different sounds within those words. And finally, if you're really, really, really stuck and you just can't get them maybe you can use some of the words that have been edited in the stock phrases and then go from there please don't hesitate to tap the thumb below as well as subscribe thank you very much for joining me in this video and i will see you in the next one
video on the top is one that I think you will love and the one on the bottom is one that YouTube thinks you will enjoy. If you would like to know more about how to make your music masterpiece then don't forget to click like and subscribe. See you in the next video next week. Bye bye.